So here are some fundamental things that you need to know about fuel cells. Firstly, fuel cells are galvanic cells, which means they produce electricity, like batteries. But instead of having the reactants on the inside, we store the reactants in tanks on the outside of the cell, and then we pump the reactants in to react and produce our electricity. Fuel cells in VCE chemistry really come in two main categories. One is a hydrogen fuel cell. The other one is like an organic compound fuel cell. In general, we're using fuel air fuel cells, where fuel is being pumped in from one end and air, including oxygen, comes in from the other side. In each of these fuel cells, our fuel is the thing being oxidized. What that means is our fuel is always gonna enter our fuel cell at the anode, and then at our cathode is where we're gonna draw air in. You're going to need to know how to write half equations for the things happening in fuel cells. And in general, what you can do is use the data booklet provided in VCE chemistry to find out what happens to the oxygen and the hydrogen in these type of fuel cells. However, if you're using an organic fuel cell, you need to be able to deduce the re reaction happening at the anode for that organic fuel. To do that, you need to be aware that their organic fuel the organic fuel is going to be oxidized into carbon dioxide. Once you are aware of that, you can then map out a half reaction that's going to occur there. One thing to be careful about is when you're writing these reactions is that you're really careful about the electrolyte you're using. It might be an acidic electrolyte, like the one in this example here, or it might have OH, which would make it alkaline. There are a couple of other weird electrolytes, like a solid oxide one, but you just gotta be careful when you're writing half equations that you're using or balancing the charges and things like that using the ions from our electrolyte. The next thing to think about is the overall reaction. Now, regardless of the half equations that are happening in your fuel cell, the overall reaction for a fuel air fuel cell is gonna be the same as if it was being combusted. That's because your starting reactants and our products are the same as if they're being combusted. You're oxidizing your fuel. So if you just simply look for an overall reaction from a fuel cell, write out the combustion reaction. Lastly, key features of fuel cells. The electrodes must be porous and catalytic. This increases the efficiency of our reaction because it increases the speed and the amount of electrons that can come out from our cell. Secondly, the electrolyte. What does it do? It separates out our reactants so we don't get a direct redox reaction producing heat. It also allows for the transfer of ions and charge and completes the circuit of our cell.